For the first time ever, Infinity Motorcycles are going to the ABR Festival. What is it? Well, ABR stands for Adventure Bike Riders. So yes, predominantly it will be Adventure Bike Riders up there, but I'm going on my tri- Hold on. I'm going on my Triumph T100 because it is a festival after all. So there's going to be music, food, and of course camping. It's more than just adventure riding. So where's it taking place? It's going to be taking place at the Ragley Hall in Warwickshire. Now, time for the lay of the land. I quite like this one. It's going to be a two hour journey from where I live. I'll be taking the M25 and the M40. So no scenic route for me because I need to get there ASAP. Proud of myself on that one. Now, once I get there, here is what it's gonna look like. At the top, you'll have all the eager campers in the VIP camping. Then you'll have the normal campers like myself who will be over here on the west side of the map. And down at the lower part is where you'll have the posh campers in their glamping zip tents. Starting from the left, you have the exhibitor village where Infinity's tent will be around here. You go across the only paved road that I could see on this map to the main stages. Bridgestone, Teneri and ABR's own masterclass stage. Further to the right you will have the bars and the ABR stage for where the music will be playing. In the top right you have all the adventure trails with different manufacturers across the board so you have Honda, Triumph and all those big names. But sadly for me I was too late to the party and couldn't book any slots to test out some of these bikes. So that's ABR in all its glory, now it's time for the prep. In preparation for my trip up to the ABR festival, I thought it best to do some maintenance on the bike. Yes, it's only a two hour journey up from where I live, but this bike has been in dire need of a service. So I did buy some Iridium spark plugs. I've got a new oil filter in and air filter. I've also got 10W40 engine oil. Uh, so I can give it a full on service. I already started doing it. As you can tell, I'm a bit oily as it is. But next on my list is to post a TikTok, which I already have. If you haven't seen it, go check our Infinity TikTok. It'll be down below. It is on the how to clean your helmet. The second thing on my handy dandy list is the film equipment that I'll be bringing with me. So I'll be bringing the GoPro that I'm filming on now with its batteries and cables. I'm gonna bring a power bank, my laptop, my hard drive, my Sony A6400 camera and I think that's gonna be all that I need. Third thing on my list is gonna be the clothes I'm gonna bring with me. I feel like, because the weather's always changing here in England, that I'm gonna to need to prepare for the best and for the worst weather. So, I brought some waterproofs, a couple of t-shirts, a hoodie, shorts, some trousers, some boots, and some normal pair of shoes, and hopefully that'll be all right. Apart from that, I should be all ready and set to go. It's five o'clock in the morning, it's ABR festival day, but before I do anything that, I need to get myself a coffee. Hot, 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 I need to still pump up my tyres and get some petrol in the bike. Other than that, it's ABR time, baby. Don't stack it, don't stack it, don't stack it, don't fall oh, that was close. Really hate the motorway, it's so cold. And we are halfway there, I just checked my phone on the ways, uh, so better get back on the road and uh, get to AVR Festival. I'll tell you one thing though, having no front fairing or any sort of cowling on the front just to block the wind, it's going straight into my face. Also, I rushed off too quickly this morning because I was running behind on time and uh, my vents were open so I was freezing the whole way getting battered by wind but it's good to stop over and now I'm going to just sort myself out before we get going again. Baby up baby! Right it's six o'clock in the morning why is there so many lorries? At one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, the hay truck is giving final destination vibes, so I need to get out the way. Another rider. I guess he's going to ABR. Oh, there's a sign. Oh, there's some fancy gates. 
Hello. Hello, sheep. I guess the adventure riding starts now. Can I pinch a spot? Is that right? Pardon? Can I pinch a spot? Aye, aye, yeah. Right, so I'm at the ABR event. Uh, just pulled up in this parking area over here. But now, I need to go find the Infinity Motorcycles tent. And this place is massive. It was more than I expected. I thought a little, little like, small couple of trails and that's it. It's way, way more than that. I don't know what I've got myself into. This is where we're going to be based for the next few days of at the ABR festival. We've got all the gear that you'd ever need to get your adventure bike riding done. The plan is I'm going to make a few TikToks in here quick, uh, showing the Infinity store so I can post it out for tomorrow, hopefully. And then I'm going to take you guys around the whole of the facility as much as I can. went back so I could get changed. I've got myself now an Infinity shirt. I'm gonna try and go around to the local retailers now and try and get a little grasp on why they're here, what sort of gear they've um, released, anything new, new technology, new meshes. Right, let's try and see if we can track down good old Ed Miles if he's here or someone from Hal Varsons to talk about their latest range and what they have in store for us, for us adventure riders, even though I am here on a Triumph T100. I'm joined here with Ed Miles from Halvarsons. He's going to go through some of their 2023 summer riding gear. Um, so yeah, go ahead. So we're here at Adventure Bike Rider Festival. We've got two products to show you, brand new for 2023, that Infinity will be stocking over on their stand yes, and in store, are. of course. So first one, I'm going to talk you through the Arvika jacket. It's available for men and women's cuts. So this is a double A summer mesh jacket, level two armor. The trick thing about Halvarsson's um, new ranges for 23 onwards is they're all airbag ready, so you can put an airbag underneath this and it'll still it'll go off and it'll still work, even right. if you run the right size. So it's got chest protector, as it's double A, which brings it a level up against the A, a level products in terms of protection. It's this beautiful color, which is a light gray, so perfect for summer use. So yeah, that's the uh, Halvarsson's Arvika jacket, men's and ladies available. Yep. Paired with that, perfectly is the Rogan jeans. Again, these are men's and ladies. Blue colorway obviously is the most popular. Two leg lengths, so you're gonna be able to get the right leg fit. Triple A, so that's the highest level of protection on the new C safety standards. It's got zip on the top, so you can zip it to any of the Halvarsons Lindstrands range. Uh, yeah, and it's good to go. So these are all available in store, and they've got them over yep, on the stand uh, over, Infinity. over in Infinity. Moving on from Ed Miles from Halvarsons, I'm joined here with Chris from Bikerheads. He's gonna talk us through why they are here at ABR Festival 2023. Great, thanks Tom. Uh, we're here with the show truck. We've got Scorpion and Shoeberth helmets here. Right. And what we do is fighting people to come and try on a helmet and take it on either a road ride or a trail ride to experience buying a new helmet yeah. and it gives them confidence then that they're buying the right helmet of course uh, you don't get to do that often at all no, like, no, there's no other place where you'd be able to do something like not that. that I'm aware of no, no. so we we invest in the stock bring it here encourage people to come and do it and uh, it works so if you want to go and try out some helmets on the road then if you make it to biker heads over in the retailer section at ABR then come meet Chris and he'll get you all sorted and geared up for the adventure bike riding I feel like what they're doing over at biker heads with Chris is a great way to, to actually get to test out your helmet before you buy it basically being able to try before you buy which you don't get to do very often with other helmet manufacturers so let us know down in the comments if you want us to actually have an open day with biker heads for you guys to come down and test out some of the helmets now back at the tent of course we can't forget to do a little interview with one of our members from the oxford branch who's going to talk us through what we have in stock uh, at abr 2023 i'm joined here with james and he's going to just show us through everything that we have hey so yeah we've got loads of loads and loads of options for you here at abr uh, we've got some really good offers on some agv ax9 helmets um, down at 250 at the moment at the show only um, we've also got loads and loads of laminate products for you we've got some smocks from merlin really really cool adventure gear we've also got a load of mesh which you need because it's really warm here what is your favorite out of the stock that we have at my, the moment my favorite out of the stock here if we're talking the mesh jackets probably the uh halverson's arvika right, okay double yeah, a yeah, abrasion no, yeah. we literally spoke to uh, well li we me and eddie miles went over the stock that they had and yep. that's literally what they were on about and he said it's fantastic yep. as well we've got it here in the in the gray colorway as well alpine stars halo jacket right this is an amazing bit of kit 
really, really different. Removable arms on the outside, so you've got a mesh yeah. kind of under to it. Yeah. Um, well worth coming and have a look at that and trying that on. Um, really, really adventure rated, yeah, really good. Yeah. What about some of the helmets that we have? Some of the helmets that we've got up here, so we've got everything from Schuber, Faroy, uh, Showy. We've got a few really special offers on uh, some of the Nolans at the moment, as well as the Bells. And again, that AG, massive AGV AX9 offer that we've got going on at the yeah. show. Um, selling out like crazy today. That's been going out the door <laughs> mad. Yep. Um, yeah. Come down and have a look. Before I go further, I have to apologise because I tried doing this wrap up at the ABR festival, but because of this, it made it relatively difficult. And because I can get on any of the adventure riding parts, I couldn't film those parts either. But like I said at the beginning of the video, it's more than just adventure riding, and here's why. Before the interviews, I actually got to walk around the festival a little bit and have a look for myself. After a little while of walking around at the festival, I started getting thirsty and fancied a coffee. So I stumbled upon this magic teapot place and it felt like something was calling for me. So that obviously sparked my curiosity, so I spoke to the guy and he told me this. Um, so the structure lives in Somerset and it's built there by Joe and Lucy. Uh, and they cart it around to all the festivals and some of us set it up. Um, yeah, bring the flu, uh, that get, gets put up, we start a fire, we've got a piano over there, we just sing songs and yeah. we take a few press and make some tea. And the coffee was also... Hey, yeah. So I went to the little benches outside with my eight pound coffee and a guy sat next to me. We started off talking about where he was from, where he rode from, and he said this. Cape Town. I Cape Town. In Zimbabwe. Right. I remember the little thing that happens in South Africa where uh, they share the electricity. So I asked him what that was about. But because of his short term memory, he couldn't remember. And I thought he was just joking around until... My short term memory is not good. I had cancer recently. Oh, right, no. You beat it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I didn't manage to catch it on camera, but then he went on to follow on saying like he wanted to live life to the fullest and not to take things for granted. And I specifically asked him why he went. Like-minded people. Yeah, exactly, right? That's when I realised the value of the event. It's a place for us gearheads to go out and escape from our life troubles and be around things that bring us joy. Whether it's, you know, the ride up or the music itself or the adventure riding, there was something for everyone at that event. Anyway, once we closed the shop for the day, uh, everyone from the Infinity Tent got to experience the event for themselves. So what do you do after a long day? You go and find the nearest rehydration station. And it really brought us back to life. After being fully rehydrated, we then found that we were getting a little bit peckish, so we delved into the vast cuisines that were available at ABR. So of course, we ended up with a fish and chips. Once we got our food, we sat down by the stage and listened to the music. With one song in particular that got me off my feet and actually within and amongst the crowd. After having a bit of fun, we did then decide it may be it's time to get some sleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Yeah. It's the morning of day two at ABR. I had a pretty decent sleep considering I was on the floor in a tent. Freshen up, get a coffee, maybe a snack, and get myself back on the road to get home. Oh. I'm so sad to be going. It was such a fun time. There's so much that you could do there. And I'm definitely going to be going back. If there's any festival that I want to go to, it's that festival. And that wraps up ABR Festival 2023. So let me know down below what you thought about it. Give us a like if you enjoyed the video. Also comment whether you or not we should do more things like this in the future. Because I would love to go out and film the events for you. With that, ride safe and uh, see you all soon.